I get up and feed my cat and usually I'll meditate and check email and stuff or whatever, have breakfast and uh, then just do whatever. I mean, every day can be different. I mean, I've been busy with all kinds of different random things, so I kind of take every day as it comes. I mean, there's always stuff to do online. I mean, I love programming. I'm always programming or doing different administrative tasks. Austin the heart scab, you yeah, can pass so, uh, that to someone to do if you like. Yeah, so uh, as you all learned, yeah, the heart scab is to protect them and keep them from uh, saying too much in the afterlife. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so if someone here would like to place this here, would you like to Remember, in most museums, blind people can't touch at all. So it can be very boring for a blind person. It was just the most incredible thing to actually be able to touch, you know, the old stone statues like the hieroglyphs on the Ramses just get me every time, these carved hieroglyphs. It's kind of like reading braille pictures. And just as soon as I felt those, it was just like the most amazing thing. It's one thing to do it yourself and to experience it, and then to be able to lead other people to that experience just feels incredible. Basically, the way echolocation works is using reflected sound instead of reflected light. So, um, by making a simple tongue click, like, you can actually train your brain to receive those echoes back from that click. They're like dark forms because sound travels slower than light. So you don't get color, you don't get fine detail. At closer end, you can see down to about the size of a business card. So you get the form of things, you get the um, distance, you get the texture of the material. So, so many things are possible if you put your mind to it. You know, I mean, I don't want to say that you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it, because that's not true either. If you have a disability, um, you know, for instance, right now I can't drive, although soon there'll be self-driving cars, so even that'll be possible. But so I don't want to say that you can do anything you want to if you put your mind to it. But I would say that, you know, you just never know what you're, what's possible. And if you want to do something, you should see it and you should go for it, because... You know, that's, that's how it's done.